okay here a video on how you can create the or make a recreation of the marrow stitch and this stitch uh, you can you can basically you can create any stitch you want and once you have it created then you can go and stitch it along a path and this one it will look similar to a satin stitch but on the bottom end as you can see here it will bunch together I'll turn on my highlighter for a moment okay so I went and drew out a pattern already and I'll go and put the numbers on there so that you can see how it is being drawn so and the first step oh uh, why is it not doing what it is supposed to okay let's try okay my start number that should be number one okay now we I should have it okay so the first node is being placed over there oh I want not a solid I want it okay number one I want to start and I want that it is transparent I think I'm in a transparent now okay so the first node is placed over there and the second node is placed over here third and then we go back over here again there is number four and number five is over here also and you want to have one and four you just want to have them offset from each other just just a hair so that the stitches the the needle is not penetrating in the same hole and that is the same here with two and five and then number six is over here again and then number seven is over here that is the end one over there and then we go over here is number eight and then we go back come back down again so that is the inside one and then we go so then we want to have that one a little bit if I zoom in then I'm losing all my uh, lining up of the numbers so I'll leave it at this for now but as you can see uh, that node is a touch higher than the bottom row and then we go back up over here that's number 10 come back down now we go to the bottom so that is number 11 and then we get 12 going up again 13 coming down 14 going up 15 going down again 16 up 17 down and then here we go up again to 18 but we want to have that one a hair offset from the top because once we put it on the path we want to go and join them together that the end point and the like that the start point and the end point are matching up again so and we don't want to have too many penetrations on the same spot and number 18 is then oh 
I gotta go. I made a mistake here. Oh. Then. Uh, okay, so then we come back down again with number 19. And then we get 20. That is here up on top again. Oh. That should be 20. And then 21 is going to be the end point, and that is the same on the same spot as where number 7 is. So once we have all these points created, uh, also watch that the spacing, that you have those all the same. Uh, here 18 and 20. They are just a hair offset going down because once we put it on a path, uh, we're gonna go and slide it over and that they match up on number eight and number 10 again. So, and we don't wanna have the needle points on the same, but we wanna have them lining up. So that is how you can create it. Then uh, I'll go and just turn off all the numbers. And now we can go and draw a path. So then we go to the Bezier tool and we can draw a path. And I'll go and enter. And I'll set the width really narrow. So, and I will go, now I'll select this one, and I go and click on copy. Now I go to my path, and add path effect, and then I go, it's popping up on my other screen, and I go pattern along path pattern along path and then we go to paste path because like we made a copy of this marrow stitch so and then we go paste path and as you can see now it is stretched out over the whole length of the path well we do not want that so here we have pattern copies then we go single stretched, but we change it to repeated. And as you can see, now it is, they are all lining up beside each other according to the width of the pattern. Now what we want to do is, we want to go and slide them over. So what I'm doing now is, I'm changing the stroke really narrow. So it becomes better visible on where are we lining up. Then we can go to the spacing and we change change the spacing. So and it looks like there we're just a little too far. And there it looks like like we may have to make a minor adjustment on uh, on the path itself, or like on the on the pattern. Oh, on the pattern, we may have to make a minor adjustment to make sure that everything lines up properly. That takes a little bit of planning. Uh, I didn't completely perfect it, but uh, that takes a little bit of time. But as you can see, we are now awful close to being lined up. It looks like the, the tips are lining up. Just the bottom part that needs a slight adjustment. But it might be okay. Then what we want to do is, because it is all, we want to be all in running stitch. So then what we'll do is, we'll go and go to the fill and stroke. We go and set 
to a dashed line. I had it as a solid line because that way it is better visible on how things are lining up. Because if I go now to a dashed line, uh, it may not, oh, not too bad. Okay, then what we'll do is we'll go to extension, ink stitch, params. And there you can see it is stitching out. And you want to uh, make sure too that you're running stitch length. I will go and change that also because we want that it covers all in one, one stitch length. So we can go and set that one for that matter at 10. That way we know for sure that we have uh, have it as as one one stitch. So and now we can zoom in. Uh, and there you have it. And it takes a little bit of playing around on to get it working exactly, but it should and like in the length on uh, on your stitch, uh, yeah, you just have to play with it a little bit and uh, try a few, make a test stitch out, do a few different ones and okay, I'll quit this one because you can just click that oh you can also go and say hey I wanna have it needs to be a little longer you can quite easy make a few adjustments and with your nodes you can make your select your nodes and make node adjustments in order to go and get the proper lineup and you can see also uh, in the top of your screen on the size of your object but it, like I say it takes a little bit of planning and playing around with it to get a proper uh, perfect stitch out on it and once you have it and you find the perfection make sure you go and save this uh, pattern uh, you can save uh, multiple you can create any pattern what you want to go and put along a path uh, if it is a curve or uh, or a circle we can do here quickly a circle for a moment yet and I'll set uh, set a fill to none and and the stroke let's make the stroke a little bigger for a moment and we'll do the same thing then we go select path object to path and now we go and copy and now we go and select the circle and we go to our path effect and we go to the pattern along path again and we go paste and there you can see that looks really strange but that is only because here the single stretched so we go repeat it and now we can just go and change uh, Okay, that should stay at one and now we can just go and change the spacing oh. it's not responding the way it should
maybe I went normal offset I went a little too quick there I guess okay or the circle is maybe yeah okay there that is most likely that is a little bit of the problem that my circle is is really small so yeah now we have to I would have to figure out yet and see how uh, why uh, this doesn't close up and that might be Okay, spacing. See, it, it is not closing in completely. So we may have to, in order to accommodate to get it closed in, To get it closed in, we may have to uh, add one separate in there to to get it closed in because I cannot get it get that closed in right now. And the reason why I'll have to do some puzzling on that, but at least for most of it that should do the trick and the spacing I'm probably too okay the spacing needs to be closer there we should be close to the spacing okay that should be close to the spacing because the the tip is lining up there. It needs a little bit more because the tip here is not lining up with that one yet. So yeah, play with it and uh, perfect it and uh, have fun with it. And like I say, may have to go and uh, and have to add just one inside there. If I go uh, duplicate and then. I can rotate it. Oh, I don't want to move the center point. That way I can go and line up the last one in there and can make things work. Takes a little bit of planning and puzzling, but as you can see too, the lines they have curved a little bit but it is probably because I got my circle way too small that looks better and where did now my last one go so yeah as you can see oh I'm I'm making a mess out of it now. There, there we go. And then we can go and select that and change the stroke style. And then we should be able to extension ink stitch Perhaps and there you can see we have a full circle with with a marrow stitch. Okay, have fun with it and keep playing and uh, happy embroidery. Okay, thanks for watching.